films like you look at it and you're like it speaks to me that's the thing about films nowadays they don't make posters or something that just speaks to me like you look at a comic book like cover you look at it and just like you look at it then you read yeah, and you look inside of it, then you try to find if it speaks to you or something. Like, for example, Catwoman. With the covers Jim Ballant made, those covers speak to me. Um, <laughs> I just look at it. Like, um, issue 18 of Catwoman by, you know, with Jim Ballant did the cover. <clears throat> I love that cover. I actually have two copies of it, which is really weird. Like, it's Catwoman. She's in a wedding dress and she's holding a gun. It's an amazing cover. It just speaks to me. I, I look at it and I'm like, I love this cover. It's amazing. If they ever do a, a, um, a moment in a Catwoman film... I want that moment. <laughs> Just like where she shoots the guy and she's like holding the bouquet of roses and she's wearing a wedding dress and she has a smirk on her face. Like, not a smirk, but like an angry face. Like, that is an amazing cover. You know, I, I want a classic... I want a classic Swamp Thing film. Like... I was happy that Ray Wise, who was in um, Reaper, the Reaper film, the Reaper show, and he's in like in a lot of films I really like. Like he was in Killing Joke. He played uh, Commissioner Gordon. Like if there's ever an actor that should do the voice of Gordon, it's him because he did an amazing job as Jim Gordon. That was like the one part of the film. Like the rest of the parts, I just didn't care. But when he did the voice of the Joker and and stuff. It was just amazing, you know, voice cover, voice over, and stuff. It just, you know, it's one of those things. Like, so, <clears throat> anyway, I, I would love to see a Swamp Thing film. I want to see the guys who did the TV show do a film where they can have free reign of doing what they want. For a Swamp Thing movie, the show I, I I really love it, but it's just like they they you could tell like they sort of like there's some parts you could tell like they sort of had to like cut down a bit. Like if they do a like if they got James Wan who directed The Conjuring come aboard and direct. The Swamp Thing film. He was involved as a producer. He was proud of that show, which he, you know, of course, did Aquaman and stuff. But if they were like, if they allowed him to have creative freedom to do what he wants, then go for it. I, you know, I, I look at the show Swamp Thing. I, I was really excited. I was like, finally. And they, they got everything right in the show. They hit all the right notes. And all of a sudden, canceled. And that pissed me off. <laughs> it's just like, damn it, you took away Daredevil. I mean, I know it wasn't them, but the people who are in charge. It's just like, you took away Daredevil, you took away Luke Cage... You took away Iron Fist. You never gave that poor bastard a chance or defend himself because of SJWs and everybody who's like, you know, Iron Fist shouldn't be white. He should be Asian. It's like, fuck off. <laughs> and now you took away Swamp Thing. It's like, out of everything, you took away that. And I know there's going to be a lot of people who are probably going to hate this, but it's just like, how in the fuck did you cancel a show that's actually good, but yet you bring back Doom Patrol of all things? And I, I have nothing against Doom Patrol. It's just, it was really, I have nothing against it. I'm, I'm being honest, but it's just like, 
I got bored with Doom Patrol. <laughs> and I'm I'm so happy that Brendan Fraser is doing something. Cuz that poor bastard deserves work after dealing with his psychotic ex-wife who took everything from that poor fucker. But it's just like you know Swamp Thing you know <laughs> I I feel you know I feel bad for the people who worked on Swamp Thing who are just proud of what they were doing for all of a sudden DC just comes in like you're cancelled <laughs> but anyway here's another question are you going to watch the Harley Quinn animated series that's going to be on DC Universe in October. Um, no. I, I'd be honest with you. I, uh, I need a drink real quick. Hold on. Alright. Am I excited that you know, it's going to be Harley Quinn. They, of course, revealed the list of characters who are going to be in it. Kaylee, Co- Kaylee Coco is playing Harley Quinn. Okay. Uh, Lake Bell's Poison Ivy. Alan Turkin is the Joker and also Clayface. The guy who played the voice of Batman and the Brave and the Bold is doing the voice of Batman, Bruce Wayne. Jim Brash is doing Edward Nigma the Riddler. Uh, let's see. Uh, you got King Shark. You got Commissioner Gordon. Play- Christopher Minnelli's doing Chris- Christopher Minnelli of Law and Order SVU is doing Gordon. Holy shit. I might watch it. <laughs> For those who don't know, I, I'm a huge fan of Christopher Minnelli, who did. Um, I didn't really care for Law and Order SVU, but I love the show Happy. He was in Happy, which is. Amazing. Happy deserved another season. I don't care what anybody says. Happy is about this guy who is a private investigator who... Who... I I have to talk about the show. Uh, He is a disgraced police detective, Nick Sachs, who lives as a social outcast, filling his days with heavy drinking and substance abuse and moonlighting as a hitman to feed his various habits has a massive heart attack, and it comes to contact with a small, blue-winged unicorn named Happy, who apparently he can only see. Happy explains that he he is his imaginary friend of a little girl named Har- named Haley, who has been kidnapped by a deranged, deranged man dressed as Santa Claus. Happy reveals, Haley, reveals that Happy is Haley's estranged daughter, is Nick's estranged daughter, and sought Nick's Nick's A to believing that he could be a hero cop and save his daughter. It is a really good show. And it is a crime that only lasted two seasons with 18 episodes. I I don't know why they canceled the show. It was, it was really good. It was very crazy, but <laughs> it was a really good, good show. And... I, I highly recommend it for people who haven't seen it. It's it's entertaining, it's crazy, it's violent as hell, but and it's raunchy, but it's a really good show. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh Doctor Psycho is in Harley Quinn, uh Frank the Plant play by JB Smooth. Jason Alexander's in this? Lex Luthor is in this. Uh, Queen of Fables is in it. Uh, Scarecrow. Selena Kyle, Catwoman, is in the show. Clayface's Hand. <laughs> Played by Tom Kenny, who did, who's the voice of Spongebob. Uh, Vanessa Marshall is playing... 
Diana, Princess Diana, known as the bitch. Um, Damian Wayne is going to be in it. Okay, I might watch the show. I mean, for the the list of characters, and you got George Constanza doing the voice of one of the characters. I am going to watch it. <laughs> And he also did uh, a show called Duckman, which was pretty dumb, but... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm definitely going to watch it. I mean, you got Jason Alexander, or, or otherwise I call him George Costanza, for those who've never seen Seinfeld. Um, <laughs> I, I might watch the show. I might watch it for... Mainly, couple reasons. You have Batman, and you have Catwoman. And you have Damian Wayne, Robin. So, I, I, I'll I watch it. I don't know when they're going to release the entire episodes. I mean, I watched the trailer of it. And I... I watched it, and I was just not... Like, they had this crazy-ass song playing in it. And anytime they play a song that's annoying, it's it's immediately like, you are turning me off of the show. Turning me off on the show. I am not going to sit through it. I don't like annoying music. I mean, I love the teaser promo where they have Harley and Ivy and sharing a cell and all of a sudden Batman shows up, says something to <laughs> I really liked it. I thought that that was really cool. But one thing they had to promise me with this show is I want some Batman Catwoman moments. I loved Hush. I didn't care for the ending. But I love Hush. I love the moments that they had in the show. Um Harley Quinn for whatever reason. I'm just not a big fan of it. But if they do Harley Quinn the way they do it in the, for example, the Sean Ward show, they make her bumbly and funny and sarcastic and witty, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'll be like, this is better than, it's it's equally as great as the Harley Quinn and the Sean Ward show, but better than Margot Robbie. Hush was beautiful. It was a beautifully made film. I I, I hope they do a sequel. <laughs> I would love to see a Batman Hush comic book sequel or an animated sequel where they have Catwoman back. I I would love to see them do like Long Halloween as an animated film. I just, you know, I always want to see that. Here's another question. What do you think of the Batman, the first image of Batman and Red Sun. I like it. <laughs> I, I tell you one thing. I, I'm kind of mixed on it. Like I, I like the look of it, but I, I am not going to probably watch the film because I, I don't know why. I just, I like the comic, but I just. I like part of the comic element. Like I I think Batman is awesome in it, but I did not like the ending of it. I I wasn't really too thrilled on it. I think the um the ending of it was just kind of lame in my opinion. Yeah, so for me it was just kind of annoying. I don't I don't know why. I just I mean they kill Batman basically and they turn him into like Superman's robot servant, which was kind of like a fuck you to Batman. Which was dumb. They did it for like injustice too. Like if you had Kara choose Superman's side. It was dumb. 
And it just shows that Superman's a punk-ass bitch. So, <laughs> I just, I...